For more than 30 years, Melbourne's Circus Oz has balanced cheeky humor, live rock and roll, and dedication to humanitarian causes in unforgettable productions. The company, described by a San Francisco Chronicle reviewer as unapologetically off-color and gleefully Australian, showcases its theatrical, musical, and tumbling talents in Straight Up. Heather Longley speaks with longtime Circus Oz member Matt Wilson about accepting fear, the quintessential Australian style of comedy, and the company's commitment to diversity. How does it feel to be shot out of a cannon? <laughs> uh, it's, how would I describe it? It's terrifying fun. <laughs> it's a bit of both. <laughs> you know, it's, um, it's exhilarating, but it's terrifying. It's, it's that kind of thing, you know, when you walk out the end of the diving board for the first time and you mm. go oh, it's a lot higher from up here and it seemed really easy and would it be fun but oh my god you know <laughs> but um you know i don't do it anymore i did it for a couple of years and managed to kind of get away with it and um <laughs> you know, it's, it's one of the most dangerous acts so oh okay i thought oh, i better um i better just sort of get out while i'm ahead <laughs> well, speaking of, like you said, the fear, um, some people say that to be a stuntman or acrobat requires that lack of fear. Uh, do you think that's the case? Actually, no. No. Um, I think it's the other way around. I think you need a really deep understanding and a deep relationship with fear because um, you, you deal with it all the time. And the moment you start forgetting about it and you have a lack of it, then that's when accidents happen. And that's when you start getting reckless or careless. So it's a matter of not being afraid of fear, but um, accepting fear and in some ways almost encouraging it, but in a more positive way so that you see it as the objective that you've got to overcome. So Circus Oz feels different than other modern circus shows. Can you comment on what makes mm. the troupe unique from, say, Montreal-based troops and circuses that you've performed with? To me, there's two defining characters, I guess. Uh, two defining elements. One is um, the music. We have a live band and a lot of the performers uh, play music as well. Um, so, you know, we've often been told that, particularly with this show, actually, they said, well, it was, it was kind of like watching a band and then the band became a circus and then the circus became a band again and then they went back to being a circus. So, you know, sort of um, that's, that's something that I haven't seen in a lot of other shows. And the other aspect i guess is the comedy element that we use you know it's it's a we've got you know moments in the show which are really beautiful and, and sort of um you know even a little sublime in some ways um and others that are quite abstract and um uh, you know and others that are just really really funny can you um describe for our audiences what the quintessential australian sense of humor is well, it's pretty um, self-deprecating in a way. We like to, you know, show the uh, the sides of it, ourselves that uh, that fail. Mm -hmm. You know, um, <laughs> that's always funny. <laughs> um, but we like to laugh at ourselves too. You know, um, and that's a pretty human kind of thing. I think, really, you know, it's, it's all, all a lot of clowning and that sort of thing. Everywhere is all based on failure. You know, and what people try to do to fix things up and going about it all the wrong way. So it's pretty self-deprecating. It's a, it's a bit cheeky, okay. you know, a bit, a bit irreverent. We don't we don't mind taking, you know, having a having a go at um, authority or people in these, you know, politicians and that kind of thing. We like to throw a little bit of political comment into our show from time to time. Circus Oz is committed to issues of social justice and has donated time to help raise yeah uh, money for a variety of programs. I'm sorry. So how might mm -hmm. issues of social justice or diversity or civil rights be addressed within the context of a performance? Uh, well, I can give you an example, I guess. Um, 
uh, one of our performers, his name's Dale. He um, is part Aboriginal. He's sort of kind of the MC of the show in many ways. He plays a character like that where he's sort of, you know, not quite a ringmaster, but more like an MC, I suppose. You know, within the first one minute, first minute of the show, he tells everyone that he's a triple threat, you know, as in like a singer, dancer, actor kind of thing. But he says, I'm a triple threat, but I'm not a singer, a dancer or an actor, but, but I am gay. I am indigenous and I'm adopted, you know, <laughs> so he's, he's got all these kind of, you know, he's, he's like a kind of a minority soup, <laughs> you know, just, it, it's, it, it seems simple enough, but just, just saying that kind of shocks people a little bit or makes them go, yeah, right on. Nice one, you know? So it, it's making a statement about diversity really. And, and we like diversity and we think it's a great thing and, you know, um, it should be embraced and um, it's, it's part of our culture you know, it, it should be part of our culture, not only here in Australia, but all over the world. And the world's a diverse place, so we've got to celebrate that. You know. Circus Oz makes its Penn State debut in Straight Up, a return to the company's traditional character-driven format at 7.30 p.m. February 7th in Eisenhower Auditorium. For tickets or information, visit cpa.psu.edu or phone 800-ARTS-TIX.